What's up everybody, Anime X here, and in this video I'll be scaling Yuha or Yuwak or Yuha Bak or whatever you want to call him. I'm gonna be scaling him in this video. Just like in my other how powerful videos, I'm going to be using a combination of real life science and calculations and using scaling off of other characters in that series. Just to let you guys know, if you ever have any questions on my reasoning in a certain video or you disagree with me on certain points, there's a link to my Discord down below, which is where you can bring up any points or ask to debate me if I have time for that or anything like that. So, with all of the formalities out of the way, I think it's time to jump right into the video. First, I just want to remind you guys that if you haven't subscribed already, uh, consider doing that. If you want to see all of the videos that I come up with, you know, hit that subscribe button and hit the bell to be alerted to all my content. So, as always, without further ado, let's get started. So, the first set of u hauls that I'm going to be scaling today is his attack potency. Now, scaling Bleach characters' attack potency gets kind of tricky and heated when you say that they aren't mountain level because a lot of people downplay Bleach characters' power. In order to scale Yuha's power, I have to do two things. One of those is prove that he clearly surpasses Yamamoto in his Bankai, which is pretty simple because a scrub Stern Ritter that was able to mimic Yuha's appearance and memories was able to completely exhaust Bankai Yamamoto of all of his power. This is important because while this Stern Ritter can mimic Yuha's appearance and memories, he certainly can't mimic Yuha's power or spiritual pressure. And this is very important because Yamamoto didn't mention that Yuha's spiritual pressure was weaker or anything like that. And he even used up all of his power against his foot soldier of a Storm Raider. And granted, he beat him, but he was exhausted of all of his power after that. And Yuha surpasses all of his Storm Raiders in every capacity, including attack potency and spiritual pressure. The reason this is particularly important is because the Bankai Yamamoto is stated to be able to destroy the entire Soul Society with his Bankai while he's suppressing himself, which means depending on the size of the Soul Society, Yamamoto can range greatly in power. Now, I said there are two things that are important. Like I said, one of them is proving that Yuha clearly surpassed Bankai Yamamoto, which I just did, but the second thing that I need to explain is the size of the Soul Society, which I will prove now is at bare minimum multi-galactic, but it can range all the way to universal. Now, like I just said, the Soul Society in Bleach is at least multi-galactic, but I'm mainly going to be making the argument that it's the size of a universe or something around there. Now, my first argument to it being that large is a statement saying that the Soul Society mirrors the world of the living. Now, many people misinterpret this as to mean that the Soul Society is equal to the size of Earth, which would be incorrect for a couple of reasons. One of these reasons is that the world of the living, or the regular realm, that the Earth resides in has a star and has surrounding celestial bodies that our real universe has. Because if they didn't, they wouldn't. If they didn't at least have a sun there, there would be no light for uh, to come through, uh, from which already puts the Soul Society way higher than planetary. And there's more. It is stated that all of the souls that die are essentially purified, uh, go to the Soul Society, which is where they reside forever. Which means that basically everyone that has ever died would reside in the Soul Society. If we take into account the fact that someone like Yamamoto has trillions of souls sealed in just his sword, it would be reasonable to assume that the Soul Society should have a similar amount of souls residing in the entire realm, although you can't argue that it should have much more. And since the Soul Society and Earth realm have to uh, balance the amount of souls they have, that means that the, in Bleach there should be trillions of souls or trillions of people on their form of Earth. This would already have to put the size of the Soul Society at large planet level, uh, taking into account the fact that both the Soul Society and regular realm have stars, and then this means that they would both at least be solar system level in size. This is sort of a lowball for the Soul Society size. Now, if you take into account the last arc of Bleach, uh, the Mongol-only Quincy War arc, there is a feat of a Stern Ritter from uh, Stern Ritter Gremi, where when he's fighting Kenpachi, he does he either does two things that either makes um, two things that either make him multigalactic or puts the size of the Soul Society at multigalactic levels. This feat is either sending Kenpachi to an area in which there is visible galaxies in the distance, and there seems to be a large amount of these. If you say that Grammy sent Kenpachi there, then that just means that the Soul Society has enough space to house multiple galaxies, meaning that it should be multiple galaxies in size. If you don't think that he just threw them out there, but instead created the place around Kenpachi, then that means that um, Grammy has enough power to create multiple galaxies on top of each other, which would put his power at multi-galactic, putting Yuha's power much higher than that. Now. There's also another statement from the series that you can use uh, that like that essentially says that the Bleach universe is made up of the Soul Society, the Earth Realm, and Hueco Mundo. With that statement, that means that the Soul Society uh, could be one-third the size of the universe, or they can all just be universal in size and come together. Uh, this essentially scales it to much higher than multi-galactic, 
There's also the fact that mirroring the realm of Earth should make up its own universe, which makes it that the Soul Society is universal in size. Basically, any way you say it, the Soul Society is at least the size of many galaxies based on the way that I just scaled its size. But if you take statements as well as, fe as feats into account, then the Soul Society can be an entire universe in size. So like I said fairly early in the video, scaling US power, or attack potency at least, depended on two variables, being that if he scaled to Bankai Yamamoto, which he clearly does and clearly surpasses, and it's based also on the size of the Soul Society, which for the purpose of this video is going to be universal. If you disagree with that statement for some reason, you can argue with me in the comments or in my Discord, either one is fine. Now, the reason for this being important is because of the feat of Bankai Yamamoto, which you may have heard if you're in the Bleach Scaling community. But basically, by merely existing, Yamamoto was at risk of destroying the entire Soul Society while he was trying to restrain himself from destroying anything. Like I said, Yuho's power scale is much higher than that of Yamamoto's, which means that at bare minimum, he would be universal in attack potency just based off of this feat. But there are better feats of his, like being able to completely destroy all of the realms, being Waco Mundo, the Soul Society, and... Um, and the earthen realm and the soul society is based off based off the scaling i'm using it should be multiversal when uh added to the other universe this should make you ha multiversal in attack potency uh now before you guys click off the video and dislike uh the scaling that i use for you ha isn't very refutable and in fact if you think that he's any weaker than universal then i invite you to join my discord ask a debate about the topic so i can explain my reasoning more in depth to you uh, like I just alluded to, the lowest you could scale Yuha to be is universal, just based on the fact that he was able to destroy the three realms that would make up the entire Bleach universe. Uh, you know, Yuha's power can possibly be multiversal, which may be a hard pill to swallow, and it's something that many people outside of the Bleach power scale like don't know. But it is backed up by feed statements and my own personal scaling. So, finally, I think it's time to move on to scaling Yuha's speed. Now, scaling speed in Bleach is fairly simple and straightforward if you pay close attention to the details. For example, if you take into account the Byakuga versus Ichigo fight where they are stated to be fighting at the speed of lightning, this lays the foundation for the speed that Byakuga and Ichigo at bare minimum would have to be fighting at. But I think it's even faster than that, based on the fact that since all of Byakuga's pedal attacks should be relative to him in speed, and he can increase its speed threefold when he controls it with his hand, this means that Ichigo casually defect, deflects the thousands of Senban Zakuru all moving at three times faster than lightning this would be a light speed level feat bare minimum and if you don't want to use that scaling for some reason which is fair i mean i don't I haven't seen many people bring up that uh that feat or anything like that then you can just scale characters to a seto which is stated to be light based meaning that it should be moving at the speed of light really any characters that scale above bankai ichigo and the Ardenkar arc should be the speed of light uh you know there are also attacks that are stated to be even faster than regular Sero. This attack uh, would be called Bala by, Yam by Yami, or Yami, and he says even though it's not as powerful as the Sero, it's about 20 times faster, meaning that characters that scale above Yami, at least in his, like, not in his release form, should at least be 20 times faster than light. And this isn't even Yami in his release state, like I just said. It's just him in his weaker form, where Ichigo went, um, in his weaker form, where Ichigo, with his power, was fluctuating and was able to essentially demolish him. Based on the pattern of how much stronger each Espada member is than another, with the higher Espada member being able to take out the previous one with their release states, this should imply at least a 10 times difference between most of the Espada. The characters are so much faster than light at this point in the series that characters are able to essentially dodge throws that are being shot at them at a machine gun fire rate. Uh, this is based on the shots from Stark uh, in his fight against Shinsui, you know, where Shinsui could be dodging hundreds of Seros for a good amount of time. And this is also, of course, without the use of his full power. You know, uh, it's kind of hard to pinpoint exactly how much fast, like how many Seros are being fired. You could just kind of like round and say that he, this could possibly put him at hundreds of times faster than light. And this doesn't even compare to characters like Butterfly, Aizen, and Mugetsu Ichigo. Since I can't pinpoint exactly how fast Mugetsu Ichigo should be, I'll just assume that he's comparable in speed to Shinsui, who like I said is hundreds of times faster than light. It is stated much later in the series that Ichigo regained his power that he had when he fought Aizen and then proceeds to holify himself, but instead of a 10 times multiplier, he should get a 100 times multiplier, based on it being more powerful than two Resurrections from Ukiora because it, his, it is his Vasto Lorde state. Now, even after this, Yuha is rivaling this power and speed pretty quickly, and it, which is like, you know, in case I didn't make it clear, Ichigo at this point should be 10,000 times faster than light at bare minimum, just adding that 100 times multiplier onto his previous speed. And then Ichigo entered his Bankai, which would add another 10 times multiplier, making him at least 100,000 times faster than light. 
Granted, Yuha was clearly scared of this Bankai, but it was most likely for the ability that it would give him, and probably not the speed enhancement that it gave him. Now, there's another calc involving the Ash Wailing Light, which I did not use prior, uh, I did, which I did use, I'm sorry, using a speed distance calculator. I basically took the speed that I said base Ichigo should be at, being about 100 times faster than light, then I input the amount of time that it took, being about 9 and a half hours to complete the journey, to find the, and also I'm assuming that he's going at full speed because he's trying to save his friends, and I use this to find the distance that he traveled. Then I input the amount of time that it took for the Ash Wailing Light to hit multiple people which i estimated was about five anywhere from five to ten seconds just because it only took one panel to do so and then i put the distance into the calculator and found out that at bare minimum the off wailing light wouldn't be moving at the speed of light but it, it would have to be moving at about six hundred eighty thousand times the speed of light and then from there you can stack the combined bonkai and holification multiplier onto each onto each other which would come out to it moving about 680 million times faster than light meaning that yuha should scale to this speed as well as meaning he's massively, massively, massively faster than light. And now that the physical feats of his are over, I think it's time for me to explain some of Yuha's many abilities. Now, obviously, Yuha's most powerful and useful ability is his Almighty, which is just what I'll be briefly explaining, just because I don't want this video to be too long for you guys. Basically, if you were to boil the Almighty down to one word, I'd have to say that it's precognition, but that word doesn't do the Almighty justice. The Almighty also allows Yuha to see into an infinite amount of futures and plan ahead for those futures. In fact, Yuha has so much influence over these futures that he can directly pick and choose which one is most suitable for him. And he's even applied to have fate manipulation based on the fact that Ichigo is able to slightly manipulate fate due to Yuha's statement himself, which is stated, you know, stated by Yuha. And then he continues to demolish Ichigo, meaning that Yuha could completely negate Ichigo's fate hacks. Uh, the Almighty is also so potent that it allows Yuha to break something in the past before it's brought out, which is shown with Ichigo's sword when he tries to go Bankai. Uh, so essentially, the Almighty is an extremely cool and very useful and invaluable ability. Also, about that whole breaking the Bankai thing, I really wish that he hadn't done that because I really wanted to see what Ichigo's new Bankai was when he turned into that single sword. With the chain, it might have been pretty cool, but of course, Yuha had to use his future almighty powers to break it. So he kind of ruined a really cool moment in Bleach for us. But that feat does prove that Yuha is able to actually manipulate what happens in the multiple futures. Like, he could pick one and then just, hey, oh, I'm, I die in this one? Nah, I think I'm just going to pick, uh, I'm just going to pick the one where I beat everybody. The only reason that the almighty was really overpowered was just because of uh, Kyoka Sugets, which I will be, you know explaining in my how powerful is aizen video so be on the lookout for that um yeah i mean almighty is pretty broken and the only reason that he lost was kind of due to plot armor so i would just like to thank everyone that made it to the very end of the video and guys i would just like to encourage you if you already haven't to subscribe and hit the bell if you want more bleach content and i know i've been kind of slacking on how many bleach videos i've done and which will definitely change in the summer because i'll be ramping up my videos to three times a week but only during the summer um, and if you guys enjoy my videos, uh, you know, if, if like, if you guys want more Bleach content, uh, and you want me to put out more, make sure to comment what video specifically you want from me down below, and make sure that this gets, uh, let's, let's go with, let, let's keep it, let's keep it simple, 20 likes, uh, if this video gets to 20 likes, I'll make sure to put another Bleach video out like that, okay? So, uh, if you want to have influence on what type of videos I do, join my consider joining my Discord and following me on Instagram to be a bigger part of the Anime X community. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video, and so as always, guys, this is Anime X, signing off.